So how did you find your way to this assignment, like in terms of the passion you have for it? I didn't. Um, I, I thought that the passion was making social issue documentaries and I became a single mom at 26 years old and um, I started working in production, traveled around the Caribbean on production jobs for about a year and saw a lot of places like this but more upscale and um, that, that was what we did the productions for. Yeah. And um, after about a year of that and not seeing my son too much, um, I got a job with the city of Miami Beach as a full-time, like a grown-up job. And that was- <laughs> A grown-up uh, job? Yeah, that was great. Um, and it, it, I didn't go to film school for graduate school as a result of all of these things. And I just would sit all the time at my desk or out in the field and these were great jobs like right so much fun and stable and you know they have their ups and downs but good jobs um i knew i wanted to have a sustainable community farm yeah, it just it was there it was there my girlfriend owned this house okay and this house she um bought them with her husband in around 2005 and um so she lived in this one with her family and would rent this one out so in the summer of 2010, we just wanted to get out of Miami for the summer. I was, I could work from home production wise at this time. And um, my husband was, it, the economy was weird, 2010. Yeah. So we came here thinking we'd stay for the summer. It looked completely different. It was all wildly overgrown, um, no greenhouse, no this, you couldn't even think that there was anything back here, but like brush and jungle and maybe snakes and a bear or something, you know, <laughs> but the bears, maybe, I don't know, I haven't seen any bears here, but, um, yeah, so we found it, I was in short sale, and bought the property, and took a chance, and the only reason Oviedo was, I mean, going from doing production, and interviewing people like Shaquille O'Neal, and Emilio Estefan, and heads of companies, and international diplomats, and things like that, to Oviedo was like, there was no reason for me to do that with the family, except that there was this calling to have a farm. Like if I was just living here on this, in this little house, it was kind of not that comfortable. It was ramsh like broken down with my family and just from Miami where our, our entertainment was to go to the ocean. It was five minutes away, health food stores everywhere, yoga studios everywhere, eclectic community everywhere, art everywhere. And so I, it was like, start the farm, you know, go hard or go home. Go hard or go <laughs> home. That's true, right? Yes.